The African Union says it will proceed with its troop withdrawal from Somalia as scheduled. Last week, Mogadishu requested a 90-day pause through the UN Security Council on the pullout of forces. Officials made the request after an increase in attacks by armed groups. 3,000 members of the African Union transition in Somalia are scheduled to leave by the end of September. Let's speak to Malcolm Webb for more on this, who is in Nairobi. And Malcolm, can you explain for us why the Somali government asked for a 90-day pause and what's going to come next? Well, it was about a year ago when the Somali federal government uh, launched operations against the armed group al-Shabaab with uh, US trained special forces, Eritrean trained soldiers, uh, also fighting alongside uh, clan militias armed uh, by the federal government and those operations seem to have had success or at least relative success compared to the previous 15 years of operations uh, by troops provided by other African countries under the banner of an African Union uh, and United Nations authorised uh, force. Now that force depended on support and funding from the US and the European Union, uh, both of whom in recent years appear to have had uh, some fatigue, tired of this never-ending game of cat and mouse in which the forces they were supporting held uh, a green zone in the capital Mogadishu, the centres of, of some other cities, but al-Shabaab uh, controlled the countryside and ran uh, effectively a nationwide mafia collecting uh, vast sums of revenue. The Somali government offensives had more success and so uh, the US has refocused its resources towards training Somali soldiers. The European Union uh, says uh, that it's running out of budget to support, to support the foreign uh, forces anymore. Now, the Somali government says just in recent weeks it suffered some setbacks and that several towns uh, his forces have had to retreat from. Al-Shabaab has taken them back. And for that reason, uh, it's asked for the African Union troops uh, to stay for 90 more days. Now, there seems to be uh, some tension here, but when we speak of the African Union, it's important to bear in mind that this is an organisation without a lot of political leverage itself and without any significant budget. The key players in question are the troop contributing countries. That's Uganda, Kenya, Ethiopia, uh, Djibouti and uh, Burundi. Now, the African Union has uh, refused Somalia's request to extend these 3,000 troops for another 90 days. So from what we know now, according to what the African Union has said, those troops will withdraw uh, at the end of this month. OK, thanks so much. That is Malcolm Webb for us in Nairobi.